Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you haven't seen, Magpie Beauty have released a new gel polish collection called the Pop Art Collection. So I thought I'd do some really fun pop art nails with the colours today. So I'm going to show you all the colours and then get straight on to the tutorial. So first up we have Jazzy Joe. What you're seeing on screen just doesn't do it justice. This is a super bright cobalt blue which is what I've been searching for forever and this is just the perfect colour. Then we have Eye Candy, a beautiful pink. Shrinking Violet is a gorgeous bright purple. Aqua Marina is an aqua green. Lime Ada is the perfect shade of lime green. And finally we have Lollipop which is a watermelon pinky red shade. So on to the tutorial. These are the nails that I created today. So totally inspired by all the colours in the Magpie Pop Art collection but also by the pop art era itself. So taking inspiration by Roy Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol, all their sort of prints and artwork that they did. So inspiring, so bright and just really unique. So for the pinky, super easy. I took a couple of layers of Plain Jane and cured those. And then I'm going in with Jazzy Joe and a dotting tool and just basically made this a polka dot nail. So for the ring finger, I just did a diagonal two-tone nail and I'm applying Aquamarina in the top half and then eye candy in the bottom half. For my index nail this is going to just be all Jazzy Joe and you can really see this beautiful blue here. It is just so gorgeous and it's really pigmented actually just in one coat but I did apply two just to make the colour really pop. And then for the thumbnail, I did something very similar to the ring finger. And for this one, I'm using lollipop and shrinking violet. So for the middle finger I'm going to be doing a little bit of reverse stamping and I'm going to stamp that pop art face in the top left hand corner and this is Moyu London Pro XL 15 plate. So I'm going to stamp it in black and then I'm going to colour it in. So I do have a couple of top tips when doing reverse stamping. Now colour in your uppermost features first so this is a face so I'm going to do the eyes and the lips first because then I'm going to be putting a flesh colour over the top of the face so what you want to see at the top you colour in first and I really hope that makes sense so I'm just taking stamping polish and I think I use some regular nail polish for the hair I will list all the colours that I used in the description box below but I'm basically going to colour this in and then while the eyes and the lips are drying, I'm going to do the hair. And then when those features are dry, I'm going to go in with the flesh colour.
So when you are colouring over bits that you've already coloured in, it doesn't matter if you go over them because from the other side, you're not going to see it. So I'm going to turn this over now and you can turn this over at any point that you're colouring in just to check how it looks. But this is what it looks like all coloured in. So once that is touch dry, so dry to the touch but ever so slightly tacky, then we can use this to stamp directly onto the nail. So I've applied a couple of coats of Plain Jane and Cured and I have left the tacky layer on there so the stamp has got something to grip onto and this is the point you want to be patient you want to just keep applying pressure and making sure it's stuck down if it keeps coming up just keep pushing it down and then it will come away so I separated any bits that I didn't want with a cuticle pusher and just cleaned up around the nail with some acetone and a cleanup brush. And to fill in the extra bit of white down the bottom of that nail, I'm using this plate. I think it was the Rebel plate. I will list it below. Uh, and I'm just using this bang uh, text here. And I'm just going to stamp that right in the corner. So for the blue nail, I'm going to double stamp this POW image. So I'm going to do it in black first and then off center it with a white stamp. And then I went back to the ring finger and I'm using Dixie Plates Lines 01 and just to meld the two colours together I'm using this double triangle image. And then I wanted to put pop art in text on my thumb and I wanted like a splat image, I didn't want it to be perfect so this is a great plate for that, this is the Dixie Plates typography plate and it's full of letters and numbers. So I'm using this top section here where it looks like the letters have been splatted on the nail, which is so cool. So I'm gonna spell out pop and then art in a different text. And anything that you get on the nail, I just use these little micro brushes with some acetone on and that just cleans that up. So I finished all the nails off with a matte gel top coat and this is what they look like all as a set and I really love how these turned out. As you can see I did my right hand first and I wasn't really happy with that face but I definitely nailed it when I did my left hand so super happy with that. So a lot going on here guys but I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to go to Magpie Beauty and check out the pop art collection, I believe you can get them all as singles now as well. So thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!